Hey, it's David, talking about the famous comedy book, Comedy Made Easy, part two regarding getting past your fear. We talked a little bit about what fear is. It's a, a false emotion appearing real. It's just something that we have accepted as true that's not true. And what it is, is it's your critic. It's, it's actually um, a mechanism to keep you safe. From, from real danger. Only we're no longer living in the caves and there's no more dinosaurs and dangerous animals or other people that are gonna cause us harm. So it's, it's, it's actually not real anymore, but it, it did serve a purpose. So today you're gonna learn about another aspect of the critic that I call the saboteur. The saboteur is the same type of saboteur that would work in a war, in stealth. So, so you don't know and realize that they're working. They go behind enemy lines and they blow up bridges, communications, railroads. They create havoc so things are not workable. And that's what your saboteur does. Some of the things I know for me, the, the biggest one, my saboteur, was when I did decide to step out of my comfort zone almost every single time, there would be one piece of paper, something I thought that I needed, a book, a quote, something that just to get me started, and inevitably, I wouldn't be able to find it. If you, uh, when, you when you have the book, um, Comedy Made Easy, Page 121 gives you a list of some of the things that you do or the saboteur does in stealth. You're, you're constantly late. That's happening. That's your saboteur. You get sick. I taught a public speaking class to 10 students. There were uh, six classes. The last class was people were gonna give a speech. We had 100% attendance for the first five classes. That sixth class, 50% or five of the 10 students got sick. Their saboteur was protecting them from that fear of public speaking. You get lost, you can't find things, you feel unorganized, confused, distracted. You get hurt or have an accident, it's kind of like getting sick. That's happened. Uh, in the book, this book, I talk about my nephew who actually got in a bicycle accident. So he avoided uh, being on his mission, something he didn't, maybe his subconscious didn't want to do or his saboteur was protecting him from. You find yourself overwhelmed, feelings of inadequacy, and you have trouble making decisions. These are a few of the signs that your saboteur is working to protect you, but to keep you from really living your life. Now, there's a lot more important things in life than writing and telling a joke, but it is important for the world to have joy. But it's also the same factors that keeps you from going on your dream vacation, maybe moving to somewhere where you'd rather live, changing jobs, starting your hobby, your career, just living your dreams. So this is very, very important. So what are some of the steps to get past your saboteur? One is just to know that it's there to protect you and thank it. Do what Judy Carter said with your credit. Take it for a walk. Give your saboteur a funny voice. The big thing is just to be aware that you have one. Awareness is the biggest step. Be aware of the signs, page 121. Thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Saboteur, for keeping me safe. I'm going to do it anyway. Focus on your goal, your big dream. I want to contribute to children. And if I can do this, this will get me closer to my big goal, my big dream, my big game.
And the more that you do it, every time you get past it, the more you're aware of it, the more you understand it, the more you thank it, the more you let it talk and then let it settle down. The easier it is to get past it, move past it, do the things that you need to do, have the life you were born to live. It gets easier and easier. I love the expression, fake it till you make it. That's what you do, you just keep doing it. Practice, practice, practice. One life, this life. Judy Carter, my greatest mentor said, one of my greatest mentors. Those who avoid fear live dull lives. Those who avoid fear live dull lives. You don't want to live a dull life. So go out, move past your fear, thank the saboteur and the critic, and do it, and have a great day. Until next time, David Klein Lovett, Comedy Made Easy, Getting Past Your Fear.